Hey guys, welcome back to Dextroid. In this video, we will talk about how to root any Android phone. In this video, you will learn the process to root any Android phone you might have. You will also learn the different ways to root an Android phone, which is the best method to root your phone, and also to know if it's possible to root your phone or not. So let's first talk about root methods. There are many root methods out there like Magisk root, Super SU, CF Auto root, Frame root, towel root, and king root. If you are running an older Android version, then you may have a luck with root exploit apps like CF Auto root, Frame root, towel root, king root, etc. You may check out their official page for compatibility and download any one of those apps to root your phone. These methods are pretty simple, and you don't need to unlock bootloader and such to root your phone. However, if you are running a new newer version of Android that is Android Lollipop and up then you will most probably need to root your phone using Magisk or Super SU. Although we don't use Super SU anymore since Super SU has been discontinued. So our main focus for this tutorial is going to be Magisk root and that's the only method used to root most of the latest devices right now. So let's see what are all the requirements in order to root your phone. First First thing first is you will need to do is to unlock your bootloader. Then you will need to install a custom recovery on your phone. Unlocking a bootloader allows us to flash a custom recovery and installing a custom recovery allows us to flash Magisk to root our phone. This is the basic process we need to follow for most of the phones except for the phones with a locked bootloader that cannot be unlocked. I am telling you all this information so you can understand the whole routing process and then you will be able to help yourself if you get stuck somewhere and if something is not working you will know how to figure out the problem. And please note that this process will erase all of the data on your phone including the internal storage. So make sure that you back up all of your data before following this guide. Now it's time to check if it's even possible to root your phone or not. For that, first we need to check if you can unlock your bootloader or not. If you cannot unlock your bootloader then it's almost impossible to root your phone in most of the cases but in some of the rare cases you will be able to root your phone even with a locked bootloader for most of the phones the manufacturer will provide you a way to unlock your particular phone's bootloader however some manufacturers and carriers restrict unlocking bootloader most of the OnePlus phones, Google phones, Samsung phones, and Xiaomi phones are known to be bootloader unlockable. So I will provide a link for all of these phones that are bootloader unlockable and you should follow that guide to unlock the bootloader of your phone. For other phones, you may ask for the link and information in the comment section down below. For the phones that are not bootloader unlockable will have a hard look when it comes to rooting, but there might still be a chance. For that, you will need to to go to xdadevelopers.com and search for your phone name. In your phone's forum section, look if there is an available root method for your phone. In this example, the Galaxy S8 Snapdragon version cannot be unlocked, but someone luckily found a way to root the phone using an exploit. So you can always ask in the comment section down below to confirm if your phone is unlockable or not and someone will help you out. If you cannot find anything for your phone, then it's almost impossible to root your phone. Bootloader is something that is locked by a manufacturer and it's up to the company or the carrier if they will let you unlock the bootloader or not. So as a pro Android user myself, I would always advise you to get a root friendly phone if you are a pro Android user like me. For example, OnePlus phones are one of the most root friendly phones out there and they also have an active development community as well. It's also easier to root a OnePlus phone compared to the other brand phones. Now if your phone has passed the first requirement which is an unlocked bootloader then you will need to check for the second requirement that is if there is a custom recovery available for your phone. Usually we use TWRP recovery for most of the phones but you can also find another recoveries if it's available. Now to check if TWRP is available for your device or not go to TWRP website and search for your phone's name or code name. If your phone exists, then congratulations, you can root your phone.
If it isn't available, don't be sad. Just go to xtadevelopers.com and search for your phone's name and look in the forum section for any alternative recovery that is available. If you cannot find any, then build one yourself from TWRP source or get someone to build it for you. Yeah, seriously. That's why as a rule of thumb, always buy a phone which is popular among developer community. For example, OnePlus phones, Samsung phones, Google phones, etc. Now that you have passed all the requirements, it's time to prepare to root your phone. You will need a computer to unlock your phone and to flash a recovery. It's always better to use a Windows PC for this process but you can also use a Mac although it does have some limitations for some devices. You will need to download and install USB drivers for your phone if you are using a Windows machine. The link will be in the description so make sure that you download USB drivers for your phone and install them on your Windows machine. For Mac users, you don't need to download any USB drivers. Now I will end this video here as I have divided this whole process into three sections. So the first video you will watch is installing ADB and Fastboot on your machine. The second video you will watch is the video on how to unlock bootloader and install TWRP for your specific phone. Then immediately watch the video on how to root any Android phone using Magisk. Rooting your phone is in the end. In fact, it's the beginning of the fun. So next video you should watch is how to install custom ROM on any Android phone, where I will explain you everything in detail about custom ROMs just like this video. Next, you should watch video on how to install Exposed on your phone where I will explain everything about Exposed framework, how to install it and how to use and everything. And next, well, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon and you will get the notification for the next cool thing you can do with your phone or in your phone or even in your life. Just subscribe. And guys, if you have any queries or questions, you can always ask them in the comment section down below and I will do my best to help you out. And also, if you have some information regarding this topic, you can also help out each other in the comment section down below. So that's it guys, I will see you in the next one.